Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we're gonna mix a Freddy Fantacker. So a Freddy Fantpacker is a variation of a Harvey Warbanger, which is a variation of a screwdriver. Both the Harvey Warbanger and the Freddy Fantpacker were invented by Donato Antone in Florida in the mid 60s. And while the Harvey Warbanger is just a screwdriver, screwdriver meaning vodka and orange juice, plus a float of Galliano on top, the Freddy Fad Packer substitute the vodka with tequila and because today I found myself after experimenting with clarifying orange and mandarin juice with a whole bunch of extra orange juice and I didn't know what to do with it I was like let's make an orange drink and I'm not the biggest fan of a screwdriver but I think this variation could just be the ticket to my tummy. Let's do it! So let's get a mixing glass. I'm gonna use this huge one just because I wanna go big or go home. And then we're gonna start with a 60 milliliter of Reposado tequila. I'm using this Campo Azul, which uh, is so good, such a good value, earthy, not bitey at all and just really nice 60 milliliter of this then 105 milliliter of orange juice which i already juiced today and 105 milliliters means two odds plus one and a half odds so three and a half ounce of orange juice then i'm gonna get some ice and give this a stir While I'm at it, I'm also going to get some ice for my glass. This glass that I don't know what to call yet. This uh, cute shape. But so, let's steal this. This mixing glass actually already turned useful when I was serving uh, a total of five cocktails, me plus four other people, and I made my, I think I made my Martinez, my recipe, which I'm gonna link up there, and I just uh, stirred uh, five of the cocktail with uh, this mixing glass, and it turned out pretty fine. Now I'm not gonna strain this, because the juice was already filtered but you might need to strain it anyway i'm gonna pour it over ice in our glass okay the glass it's barely big enough to contain everything or actually not big enough because now i have to do a 50 milliliter float of galliano and i'm not sure it's gonna fit but first i'm gonna measure it galliano is this uh, anise flavored and sweet liqueur which is also kind of strong at 42 percent bright yellow color i really like it and let's try to float the galliano Okay, made it. Woo. 
I should put a decoration of an orange slice, but it's not gonna fit. So let's skip that and let's pass to the drinking phase. I really need the vitamins, man. So cheers, a Freddy Fadpacker. really good love the combination of the tequila and the orange juice so much better for me than the vodka and orange juice and the galliano just give a bit of sweetness and another layer with anise flavor on top it's a nice drink really refreshing really summery Mm. and this tequila matches really well you can still feel the earthiness a bit of uh, clay flavor that brings to the table and uh, I'm loving it a really good drink Freddy Fatpacker who will know so quick and easy hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe comment down below share with uh, anybody you know, by then do whatever you want. You're a free person with your own free will, depending what you believe. But I would say that I will likely, hopefully, see you next time. Cheers. About free will, I was watching a video some time ago about this scientist and somebody in the lecture room asked him if he thought that everything that is going to happen would happen anyway, no matter what, in another sense, if there is free will and uh, he said something interesting which is that if, obey, if you had a computer powerful enough which of course doesn't exist because you would have to have way more atoms than all the atoms that are in the universe you could calculate exactly what in any given quantum of time would happen but on the other side, he was a proponent of the fact that any time there is a quantum variation, a new version of the multiverse spawns up. Basically, every possibility does exist. It's just that we are stuck in one timeline and we cannot get unstuck was this something that Kurt Vonnegut talked about was he Slaughterhouse 5 being stuck in a timeline or being able to move freely in it maybe yes anyway I like this concept that yeah, there is a predetermination, but we don't really know, or we couldn't know what it is, just because there are an infinite amount of universes created all the time. More vitamins.